friends welcome to another vlog in this vlog i basically take you through my whole experience at sj made it's been a while now it was the very first of june and now today is the 23rd so i've had a lot of time to digest and think about my experience but you'll see in this vlog everything that i did the setup and the breakdown and my insights towards the event as a whole so that's exciting <laughs> you'll also see me start and finish this painting right here which i love and i'm happy how it turned out i hung out with some friends i celebrated my birthday but i didn't record that um yeah the beginning of june was really busy because of sj made but now that we're towards the end of june just getting back into a regular routine of packing etsy orders and creating art and being able to hang out with my friends again <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah i will see you back at the end We're here. We're here. Kobe's here. <laughs> it's about to start. What time is it? It's 10.52. It opens at 11. People are still setting up, but we're all ready to go. I'm sweaty. But I'm ready. <laughs> but I did get a coffee from one of the vendors here. Academic Coffee Company. It's a pandan latte. Ooh, it's so good. But my eyelash is stabbing me in the eye. Ow! So here's a quick look at the event space as a whole. I asked Kobe to walk around with my camera and just take some b-roll footage of all the booths. Sorry if this is a little headache inducing, he walks at his own pace and his own panning speeds, but I appreciate his efforts. I wanted to take this time to talk about my experience at SJ Made. I would do it again, am doing it again, um, but I had a really good time and I did much better than I thought I would in terms of sales. I sold a ton of products, I actually sold out of a few products which was really nice, but Overall, the two-day event was really great and a lot of people visited my booth, which I was super appreciative of. I also got the chance to meet a lot of other vendors and artists, so that was really nice. I did sticker swaps with a few. I wish I did more, but I didn't have time to. But the few I did do them with, I was really glad to meet them. And hopefully I'm fostering some friendships in this vending and artist community. A lot of people commented on how they like my art style, which made me so happy because that's something that I always struggle with. So the fact that people were like, wow, your art style is really cute, gave me a little little pat on my back. And I was happy that they could find some distinction in any way because sometimes I feel like I don't have an art style. That was one thing that I took note and like took to heart. So thank you to everyone who said that to me. In general, I'm more excited to do these events in the future. I think this event gave me a little confidence boost with all of the compliments and all the sales that I received. So hopefully I continue to be successful in these type of vending markets. Um, but there are a ton of ways that I think I can and will improve on.
Day one is over. My eyes are sore. <laughs> The first thing that I do want to improve on is my display. I actually didn't really like how my display turned out and I'm constantly thinking of ways to make it look better and friendlier and able to shop. Here you can see my display. Internally in my head I was like, I don't like how any of this looks, but I'm glad other people do. Something that Kobe pointed out to me was the fact that I don't really have items or products that speak towards a general public i have very niche items inspired by like my culture and the things that i like you know like k-pop games anime but nothing that really speaks to the general public or people who like things outside of those so i'm gonna work on creating products that can reach everyone but also try to stay true to myself which is a struggle so that's something that Kobe pointed out as we were like putting all these products out and I agree with him so he has some very good points in general I had a good time I did pretty well and I learned a lot from this market um, the last market I did was a much smaller scale so this one I am kind of going to use to gauge my expectations for future markets because I will be doing bigger ones but I appreciate everyone who purchased for me and I appreciate Kobe for all of his help this day because he was like my salesman and yeah we treated ourselves to some BB.Q on the last day <laughs> which was really good Hello vlog, it's a new day. It's Tuesday, June 4th, and it's currently 5.45 p.m. Today I went into work and I just got home. And now I have to clean. <laughs> it's the aftermath of the market. As you all know, I was a vendor at SJ Made because you would have seen footage before this. Now that the event's over, I have to start cleaning, putting stuff away, and putting stuff up on my Etsy. So I have my big suitcase right here, which has all of my stickers, I believe. I'm just gonna count those and then take some photos and put them on my shop. It should be fun. It's just so freaking hot, so I'm gonna turn on, turn on, I'm gonna open the window. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I have a haircut appointment in the morning. I don't know if I have a meeting for work. I might, but other than that, I'm gonna keep cleaning up my market stuff and then I have to pack because I'm going to LA on Thursday and then for the rest of the weekend for a wedding. So to do that tomorrow, <laughs> but I shouldn't delay any longer. Let's get to counting everything. <laughs> this is my first time really doing a voiceover for everything normally i type out captions but i'm kind of lazy this time i will have auto captions just so that those are there but sometimes i can't control what those say <laughs> But yeah, anyways, it was a struggle to clean. I did it fairly quickly, actually. Oh no, I take that back. You're gonna see that I gave up very shortly. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I just glanced at the future footage past this point, and I did give up. But I started right away, which is good for something. To stay organized and track my items, I created a spreadsheet that listed out every product and the inventory amount that I started with. And then afterwards, once the sales were over and I was back home cleaning here, I recounted everything to see what I was left with, basically. Because I had so much products, I didn't want to itemize them in Square, which was the point of sales uh, app that I was using. So instead, I just divided things into large and small stickers, and I personally know what's large and small. So I use that as a guide for selling and then taking the inventory stock afterwards. Um, and a few things are almost sold out, which is kind of crazy, and I'm really happy about it. A lot of it is the Filipino stuff because Filipinos 
go hard in supporting each other <laughs> so thank you to my fellow filipinos but yeah i was really like surprised that i had a hundred stock of something and then now i only have 25 or 20 of it blows my mind hello vlog it's wednesday june 5th yeah june 5th this morning i got a haircut proper haircut not done by myself but i actually went to a salon and i love how it came out it's 12 19 came home from a haircut ate lunch already but i came to a messy room because last night as i was cleaning i got overwhelmed and then i just left this room a mess and started watching bridgerton <laughs> So I have to deal with those consequences and pack up my stuff and then I have to pack for my trip So lots of cleaning today and I still haven't finished editing last month's vlog I'm gonna try to finish that too Anyways, let's start cleaning Yeah, I told you I didn't finish it all in one sitting. Here's the next the next go around, but it looks like I did it pretty quickly. <laughs> but it wasn't too bad actually, thinking about it. Um, I did, however, have to start taking the pictures for my Etsy, which they're up on the shop right now. I just take pictures with my phone. I used to have a nice camera to do it all, but I figured phones are just as good now and I edit everything in Lightroom and I have a preset like I created a preset for product edits but sometimes I have to wiggle the different um, like exposure and stuff like that just depending on the image but yes this is the process <laughs> So this is a new day, and I'm not sure what day it is, but this day I know I just felt like painting. So I started this quilt-inspired painting. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this finished painting, but this is the process of creating it. And I'm actually going to take this painting to the Philippines in December. So Kobe and I have a new condo in the Philippines thanks to my mother-in-law, and I would like to fill it up with my art and Kobe's photographs. So when we're there in December, we'll start decorating it and personalizing it. Currently, my mother-in-law has already put furniture and stuff in there because even though it's our condo, our family uses it, which is totally fine because we're literally in the Philippines once a year for like two weeks at most. So anybody could use this, any friends, any family, whoever needs a place to stay. But when we're in the Philippines, it's our own place, which is really nice. But yeah. Once we're there in December, I'll take you guys along and we'll decorate it with some fun, funky stuff to kind of make it feel like our home away from home. That being said, I did a few drafts and sketches of the types of artwork that I want to hang up and create. And this is me just starting. And yeah, I know I have a lot of time between now and December, but want to do it while I'm in the mood to paint and lately that's been a lot recently so happy that I got one painting down and I can start doing the others because I think it was about a month ago or two months ago Michaels was having a crazy sale on canvases so I bought a ton of canvases and now that I have them I'm going to start painting them and then hopefully packaging them properly so they don't get damaged on the way to the Philippines but yeah this is the first one inspired by a cute quilt pattern that I really like and I just chose some of my favorite colors, colors that would make it pop and I spent this whole day or like the majority of this day um, just finishing this painting as much as I could. Yeah, I'm excited. This is like one of the first paintings that I've done with the sole purpose of it living in a home, in my home. and. I don't actually have a ton of paintings that I've done myself. I have a lot of my own art prints, but never like a big finished piece. So I want to start working on that a little bit more and not only create art for the 
condo in the Philippines, but for like this house that I live in with everybody, we have a ton of art everywhere, but sometimes I feel like my art is not good enough to display in our home. Um, but I'm trying to get better at that because I really like how this art piece came out and I'm hoping the other two that I have in mind because I want to do three in total for the Philippines and then maybe one for here. Uh, but I don't know what the one for here is going to look like. But the three for the Philippines, I think they'll all look really good. So hopefully I could come up with something that I like for here. <laughs> Anyways, back to the painting itself. I'm using the Holbein acrylic gouache paint on this and it dries pretty quickly on canvas. That's why I was able to pick up the canvas and move it around as much as I wanted um, but yeah that being said I did this in a grid system so it was easy to let things dry while I was working on different parts of the artwork and yeah I really really like how it turned out I want to do more of these just because it's kind of systematic and I think following quilt patterns is really fun so I don't know I don't know how else I want to do this but I do know that this has become one of my favorite art pieces that I've done in like the last five years basically. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Hello vlog, it's June 14th. It's currently my birthday eve. <laughs> time is it it's 9 24 p.m yeah tomorrow's my birthday and i'm super excited but we're gonna wait until midnight to blow out my candles eat my cake which is a tradition in this household so i have to stay up till then i have been working on my painting um for most of the day well after work i had work today but after work i started finishing up the like quilt painting that i'm doing and yeah it's looking super cute yeah i'm happy that i can paint for myself for once without thinking of turning it into a product but i might take a picture and turn it into a print because i think it looks really cool um and i might do more of these like quilted Esque paintings. But anyways, I'm going to continue working on the painting and then afterwards I I don't know if I'll continue editing this video or if I'm gonna start a new painting because I've been in a painting mood recently and yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow I have a fun day planned. I am going to have breakfast with my siblings and Kobe of course and my brother-in-law. Then we're gonna go to the D. Young Museum in San Francisco because there's a new like fashion exhibit going on right now. So I wanna see that and then just chill at Golden Gate Park and then make our way to Japantown. And then hang out in Japantown, kinda wanna buy more books and then probably eat dinner there. But yeah, and then it's Father's Day Sunday. So it's like a celebration weekend this weekend. I've recently had a ton of Etsy orders, but I haven't been filming them because, I don't know, sometimes I think packing videos are boring or like monotonous. So I haven't been doing that lately. Um. I'm sorry, I don't know how, but I ended up losing a bunch of clips of me talking about my Etsy. So I'm gonna do a voiceover and yeah, basically I've had a ton of orders recently but I haven't been filming it because I always think that it's a little bit boring. I know I've posed this question in the past of like, do people find it interesting? And a few people have commented and said yes, but me personally when I'm editing them, I always see the same thing over and over. So I don't know how to make it more interesting. And that's why I haven't been recording Etsy orders and fulfilling them and that whole process. But if you do enjoy the process of packaging orders and find that interesting and therapeutic, let me know and hopefully I can record it in a way that I like and find interesting because I do appreciate everyone who has purchased from my shop and want to say thank you and include them in my videos. But yeah, sometimes it's just like the same thing over and over and I get a bit tired of it. 
but back to the painting. I am using some oil pastels to add texture to the painting. It was looking a little flat and I don't like when things look flat. I like when they have texture, grain, and like something, something. I don't like when things look too smooth. So I wanted to rough it up a bit with some more materials on top. And that's why I chose oil pastels. And I couldn't resist the urge to add some squigglies on top. I did them in my favorite lime green electric color. And I thought I just added something different than just following the quilt pattern. Thought it made it a little more fun and quirky. I don't know. I like it. Hopefully other people like it too. But yeah, I think it added a lot. I don't know. Maybe it didn't, but this is the finished art piece and I did add an acrylic coat on top just to seal everything in. Oh my god, I almost dropped this camera. <sighs> okay, hello vlog. It's Wednesday, June 19th. Happy Juneteenth. I am off today, but I'm going to be hanging out with my friends because they're also off today. Because normally I'm off on Wednesdays anyways, but... It's a holiday today, so I get to hang out with everyone. That being said, I'm gonna hang out with my girls and tonight, well, we're actually gonna have a late lunch at two, which is an, about an hour. We're gonna have a late lunch, get some hot pot, and then we're going to do uh, presentations later of um, what we do for work. <laughs> Seeing that trend on TikTok, it's like really funny. I'm just like, what do your friends actually do? So we're gonna do that later tonight cold and windy today i stole this shirt from kobe um i didn't steal it he was going to donate it but it used to be a long sleeve and i thought it would look cute as like a little vest so i cut off the arms and it's a vest so now i have a cute outfit on with my little turtleneck anyways um my best friend is gonna pick me up soon so i just wanted to say hello i'm editing the vlog and i don't really have a lot of footage i was going to include some footage from la where i like unbox some pop marts but uh the audio was really bad and i'm still having that trouble where the audio is not transferring to my computer like it'll split halfway through for a few clips not all of them so i'm confused as to why it's happening anyways i'm adding some voiceover to this because of that well not really because of that just because i wanted to add voiceover but right now the video is 10 minutes that's so short i am going to add some more clips i probably will add today too who knows but yeah just wanted to say hello and show you my makeshift vest <laughs> i don't think there's anything else that i have going on right now i did get my patreon rewards and they're super cute well just the postcard i got those in and i'm expecting the stickers tomorrow i'm also expecting my tote bags tomorrow <sighs> yeah lots of things so tomorrow might be a good mail day i do have a lot of like design ideas for stickers and for washi tape and i want to get those done <laughs> because i am doing another market in Aus austin not in austin in august um, which is actually coming up soon now that i think about it so i have to get that ready but yeah i'm still trying to figure out a good display and how i want to do that I'm cold. Oh my god, I just got like shivers. <sighs> okay, well, I should start packing my stuff up now because Annette, my bestie, will be here soon. Anyways. Ow, my wrist. <laughs> I title this, What Don't I Do? Because I do so much more than just my title. Mm -hmm. I am a singer songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll have links to a bunch of stuff in the description, like stuff from my display. Um, I don't know, any other random stuff you want to know about, let me know. I will let you know. <laughs> but in the coming months, I have a market in August and in September and in November. So in July, I'm going to spend some time creating more products just so that I get a head start on everything and not stress like I was in the past few months. <laughs> but it feels good to not be stressed at the moment and to relax and to have fun with friends. And yeah, that's just how my summer's going so far. I hope everyone else is having a good summer too. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.